Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 17th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of sun imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Still hovering around the C-class solar flare range and no major sun events thwarted our way. But most of the activity is in the outgoing position. Watching on the right-hand side, look at the last 48 hours incoming. As we do have some active sunspots, which could produce some large solar flares in the next few days. We're going to be keeping an eye on those. Looking at outgoing here, this is where we saw a large C-class solar flare as well, the plasma filament tornado spinning along the left-hand side there. And then watch for that large flash. C-class solar flare, outgoing position, and did produce a coronal mass ejection. Another close look here at these regions, noting the plasma filaments. And then the bright flash here on the C-class solar flare, producing a coronal mass ejection visible on the ISWA space prediction spiral. Looking at another view of our sun here, our blue sun, no major coronal holes to talk about. And again, no major sun events thwarted our way, just some amazing images brought to you by the many satellites that are up above us, NASA, NOAA. Thank you to all accredited researchers and developers. And thank you for watching. Thank you for pressing play. And I appreciate all of the love and support to this channel. Having a quick look here at sunspot regions. There are still eight right now. Quick look at them in view. Current space weather conditions, nothing to report. Solar wind speeds coming in at 330 kilometers per second. And solar X-ray flux remains in a C range. Coming down a little bit after seeing that moderate C-class range solar flare outgoing. Proton flux was slightly elevated earlier today. KP index sitting at 2. ISWA space prediction spiral showing that CME taking off in an outgoing position. No major space weather events thwarted our way minor instability coming over the next 48 hours should see an increase in solar winds having a look at the NOAA space prediction spiral a little different but pretty much showing the same thing and then looking at LASCO 3 this is showing all of the sun events cosmic energy coming off of our sun Coronal mass ejections, one there. And then watching the last few images of this roll. And it shows the early stages of the most recent outgoing coronal mass ejection. This is from Soho. Alaska 2 is red, Alaska 3 is blue showing our sun's energy. Now let's get to earthquakes as it's been very busy today. Looking here at Walton 3D, we did have some sizable earthquakes. 6.3 earthquake here, Columbia in Kumarol, Columbia. 6.3 earthquake as well, a 5.7 in Restepo, Columbia. And that was right around the same time that the Mid-Atlantic Ridge reported a 6.0 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. So two large earthquakes today and many deep earthquakes as well through New Caledonia region. Tonga. Going to have to look at USGS to get a more accurate look at how deep these earthquakes were. And there were multiple. Let's have a look here. USGS reporting 213 earthquakes past 24 hours. It was up a little bit last night, but calmed down. Having a look at the depth here, 552 kilometer depth, 583, 560, and 587. And that's all today. So four major deep earthquakes, Fiji region, 
heads up around the world as we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow after all of these deep thrust earthquakes. Interesting seismicity and volcanic activity around the world right now. 5.3 here, Java, Indonesia, right at Krakatoa, as well as 4.7 northward there. Activity, Russia, very active volcanic area, and same with Alaska. Across the North American plate, notable earthquakes here, 3.3 earthquake in Grapevine, California. That's Los Angeles, folks, and as well as 3.4 off the coast of Los Angeles. Minor activity reported here in Colorado, Segundo, 3.2 and a 3.0. Other than that, major reporting, the 6.3 Columbia and a 6.0 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the two largest earthquakes past 24 hours. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet, largest earth earthquakes we've seen the past seven days have been in the last couple days. Notable earthquake there, south of Africa. Last seven days for shakers across the world. Heads up, be ready if you are living in an earthquake prone zone. Notable, that large earthquake, Marianas Trench. Also notable, all of the elevated rings. Those are all the depth. Many deep earthquakes over the past seven days. Something's brewing. Speaking of which, having a look here at the sulfur dioxide maps, give you an update. I showed you this yesterday, and it has grown immensely as we've got four volcanoes through the Aleutian Islands that are active and erupting right now. And as well, we've got all the fires across BC, Northwest Territories, Yukon, volcanoes in Kamchatka. So Northern Hemisphere right now is being blanketed by SO2 and ash particulates. Let's have a look at what volcanoes are actually erupting through the region. This is the Aleutian Islands, brought to you by Volcano Discovery. And stay tuned, this weekend we'll be coming with the Volcanic Activity Report on all active and erupting. So Katmai Volcano is showing minor activity or eruption status. Eniak check. Shishaldin. As well, the Great Sitkin. And then we get to Kamchatka. We've got Shivlich, Bezimiani, and as well, Karamiski and Ebako. So lots of activity across the north right now, reverberating here with tons of SO2 pouring out into our atmosphere. Overlooking Europe from that eruption at Etna the other day, it seems to be still erupting. As you can see, a long line of red SO2 particulates coming out of Italy. So yeah, air quality is nasty right now. Especially across BC, thoughts and prayers going out. Central BC, three new fires today overlooking satellite imagery. Some hot spots overnight. And then watch for those things to brew again today. Like they haven't seen enough already. British Columbia, my thoughts and my prayers are with you all. Having a look at that fire at Carstow, the border with the United States yesterday. Give you updated view of what's happening now. And that fire is still burning. You can also see another fire that looks like it erupted just west of Kelowna. Hot spot overnight as that fire continued to burn. There's the new fire by Kelowna. So heads up, please share this video with your friends and family from around the world. Now let's get to weather, as we do have a special weather statement for Ontario, as we've got a cold front sweeping through, and that is set to bring some strong winds and some thunderstorm conditions across Ontario. It is sweeping across northeastern United States right now. It is set to make landfall in Ontario within the next couple hours, if not right now as you're watching it. Four low-pressure systems affecting us this week. Also, we have Hurricane Fernanda, who is raking up the coastline right now and is forecast to hit California 
So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody, California, and be on watch as Hurricane Fernanda is on its way to you. Making landfall there. Los Angeles looks like the 19th into the 20th. And then watch for that moisture to funnel out into the Canadian prairies. Overlooking the rest of the world. Lots of moisture still fueling in for parts of Europe. And in the long range forecast, we do have some tropical systems here developing through the Atlantic. Going to be keeping an eye on those. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, lots of moisture along the equator and up into India and Thailand as well northern China. No major typhoons forecast here with windy.com. Overlooking Australia, high pressure ridge, locked and loaded, and another one to follow. Not too much moisture for you guys at all. It's going to be a dangerous summer coming up for you all down under. Strong low south of you could move northward and bring you moisture in the long range. Stay tuned for the next forecast. Quick look here at the Southern Hemispheres. We've got some vicious systems down there right now. And then overlooking the Atlantic, this is where we have at least four tropical systems developing in the long range forecast as things are really starting to ramp up late in this Atlantic hurricane season. But the big story is today, Hurricane Fernanda raking up the California coastline into the Gulf of California. Looks like it's going to be beelining right for Los Angeles. Extreme weather on its way for L.A. Again, I want to thank you all for your support and love to this channel. Thank you so much for the likes, the comments, and as well, to your memberships. Thanks for watching tonight. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.